Why are things like they are? I mean, yeah, we're born as an infant, we spend our whole life, live it, and then we die, and uh, then they put us in the box and put us in the ground. Why? Who's to say it's like that, man? Why is it that way? I mean, why could it not have been exactly opposite of that, okay? These bunch of people come around, they dig you up out of the ground, your box, and then take you and have this big ceremony, and then uh, they take you probably maybe to a hospital or put you in a wrecked car or something, you come back to life. And then you start getting stronger and stronger. You get out of the hospital, live your life. You get younger every day, down to your little infant again. And then they take you back to the hospital, usually, and uh, shove you up inside of your mother. Her belly gets great big, and it takes her nine months to absorb you. Why is it not like that? All right, folks, welcome back. Thank you for coming back. We're getting back on this uh, hummingbird guitar again. It's been... Uh, kind of put on the side for a long while now. I, I don't think I told you all got the pick guard for it. There's what it looked like. Just a beautiful pick guard, man. And that's all uh, inlaid inside the pick guard. It's not like printed on top of it. So I don't see it wearing off like this old one did. We got to get this old one off. Uh, and I don't know if, you know, Martin puts their pick guards on bare wood usually and then just finishes over the entire top and pick guard and all. Gibson didn't do that. There's no finish on top of the pick guard. I'm just hoping there's finish under the pick guard because this, I'll show you, this new pick guard is it's a little bit smaller than the one that's on here now, the original one. The original's even in the wrong place. I don't know how Gibson managed to do that. But I'm hoping that this old pick guard does not leave a footprint around in the finish. And I'm hoping there's finish under it. And, uh, if it does leave a footprint, I'm hoping I'll be able to get rid of it because, like I say, this new one is smaller. So come on over and let's get geared up and get into that. I've still got a cold, man. Been like a week or something. I've been kind of laying back on videos because I've been just feeling like crap. But uh, i got to get this done now. It's come time. And uh, let's do it! You see how close the pit guard is to the edge of the sound hole here? It gets closer to it. As you come around here, and right there, it's almost even with the sound hole. How could Gibson make such a mistake like that, man? The whole pick guard needs to be moved back that way. <laughs> See what I mean? That should be evened up there. And here's what I was talking about. This one, you can see how much smaller it is than the original one, all the way around. So if it leaves the footprint, if the old one leaves the footprint on there, i got to... Try to get that off, and I hope there is finish under that puppy. So let's go find out right now. See, the pick guard is a little bit loose right here on this corner. That's where we're going to start. I got the paper under there so I can take this. This is a really thin blade knife and get up underneath that corner. I got to heat, heat it first. Uh, the foam is to keep, this thing gets really hot, man. I mean, it really gets hot. And uh, the foam is to keep any of that hot air from getting blowed inside the guitar. We don't want to dry. you got to play it smart, man. When you do, it just even take a pick guard off. You don't want to blow this hot of air down inside that guitar because it will dry it out in a hurry. I mean, really fast. And when wood dries out or gets humidified really fast, we all know what happens, man. It changes shape. So you don't want to do that. Just block the sound hole off. All right, let's do it. When you heat it up, to, it don't have to be any specific degrees. You just got to soften the glue on the other side of the pit guard. I can figure out how to turn this on. I'm not even warm yet. The guitar is cold, so it's kind of cool in here. I'm a little bit warm. Try to get down a lot closer to it than that. And heat it up slowly. Probably gonna have to heat it up as we go. Yeah, that's getting it on now. And you always risk, if there is finish under there, you always risk pulling the finish up. Pulling it off. If it's cracked or split down in there anywhere. You know, there's a good chance that you could uh, really do what's going to be covered up with a new pick guard, hopefully. At least that's the idea. 
that's pretty warm. Let's see what we got here. I don't know how well. Oh man, it's gonna come off easy, I think. Yeah. It's slow, but it's going under there. I'd like to get that paper under there farther. I mean between the knife and the guitar. And do it this way and pull it up with the guitar. I'm gonna have to heat it more though. I'm just gonna leave that under there and leave that pressure, upward pressure on it. Yeah, it's already cooled off. I forget how to work this again. Sometimes these things can be a major pain to get off. Sometimes. I've had them before you just peel them off like a skin. <laughs> and then I've had them to fight me pretty bad before. Get it stuck on there. Okay, I want to heat it up now and see if I can just pull it off as we go as I heat it. It's cooling down so fast, man. Probably like I say, the guitar is kind of cool. Well, it's uh, which one switch on here? 64 degrees in here in this room, humidity 63 percent. If that helps, I think it pull, it, pull it off now to get it started. It's gonna fall if I don't. And I don't need that in anymore, I don't think. See, it's coming, it's just I'm gonna have to really heat that sucker up. And there is a mess under the pick guard. It looks like it does have finish on it. I'm gonna get that glue off of there. I need to heat this up hot so lesser glue will stick to it. We just go a little bit of time here. can't go too fast, like I say, you do damage to the guitar. And this will take some time, so I'm going to leave you now <laughs> and bring you back. Yeah, it's got finish under there. Man, it's a, it's a mess under there. The, the glue is sticking to the finish. I don't see any finish coming up, though. Anyways, I'll bring you back. Once I make it a little bit, little bit more headway, I already feel cool now. Wow, what a fit! Somebody wants outside. Here we go. Oh, that's a sticky sucker, man. Didn't pull any wood off anywhere. Yeah, maybe that's glue, I think. Wow, that's gonna be tough to get off, man. That sticky stuff. And I can really smell that adhesive, whatever that is. It's wow, it is loud, man. Loud city. Power, powerful shit. Alright. I'm going to have to block this off again because I have to uh, figure out a way to get that glue off of here. For the most part. At least around the edges here, you know. We'll be sliding the pick guard back farther than this one was. So if I can get it off of the front up here. That footprint I'm talking about. And the glue. Hear that? That's, that's my hand sticking to it. I'm going to almost pick the guitar up doing that. Check that out. <laughs> so, uh, let me, I'm going to turn the camera off and think about this. I'll bring you back whenever I've gathered my very small collection of thoughts. 
This is just naphtha. And it seems to be working. It's really slow though. Good old naphtha. I'm going to take this out. But, you know, that's good. Mainly want to get it off up here. Because like I say, this will all be covered up. We'll get as much off as we can, but I don't know if we're ever going to get all of it or not. See, that appears to be working pretty good. I don't know if the camera's picking this up or not. Man, you got to be, you got to lay the shit to it. You got to lay this stuff on there heavy <laughs> to get that glue loose. Just very slow, but it seems to be working. Soak this puppy down real good. See that? Wow, that's slow. Anyways, thought I'd bring you in to show you what, what's going on, what I'm doing. Some pick guard changes are just, uh, wow, talk about a pain, <laughs> but it can be so frequently they can. This naphtha evaporates about as quick as you, as air hits it really fast. Let all that off the, this area up here, the front, and not so much back here, though. There's the footprint I was talking about. You can see it. There's still a little bit of glue there. And them spots are all spots of glue. This entire surface was like this, though. And it's just coming loose. See how soft that is? Almost anything rolled off there with your fingers. Once that medicine hits it. <laughs> so I gotta soak that some more and uh, get the rest of this off. And then try to get rid of that horrendous footprint. I was afraid they'd be around there. There is finish under it though, so that's good. If I can just get, get rid of the footprint of the old one, we'll be, and get that off, we'll be set. You remember me telling you some picket guards can be a mother to get off? <laughs> yeah, it's about two hours later now, and that one's off. I'm going to take some, uh, I'm going to take some semi-chrome polish, go all around the edges, and get rid of that thumbnail you can see it right there you can even feel it it's a little bit around the sound hole here too that goo man that gummy shit they put them on there with I mean you know I understand they put them on there to last like right here might be a piece of it watch if you can see this watch this watch what it does I'm trying to wipe that off now that wasn't it yeah there's a piece see it just smears man and then you got to get a clean rag more naphtha and wipe that off. <laughs> uh, this corner right here, this, and then get this damn camera to work. I think I can get this out with the semi chrome polish. This corner is really funky, man. I don't know what that is. You get the camera on it so you can see it. That kind of looks like bare wood a little bit. You see, we're gonna the pit guard's gonna cover that. I just want to make sure it's clean. I'm gonna take a uh, the exacto knife and get in there and see what I can get out of that but uh, you can't wipe that out for whatever it is you can't wipe it out you know like the goo that was on the rest of the surface so uh, let's do that now sorry for the background fans they're hot man I mean I <laughs> that was a mother to getting that stuff off of there off of that finish at least it's got good finish underneath if we're all good there I'm just going to use this semi chrome now y'all see me polish guitars with this before and go all around here where I see that that footprint of that old one Let's see if we can't rub that out I think that's going to do it wow that easy come on man nothing ever happens that easy for me not this cat because that appears to have got rid of the footprint you got to get in pretty close with these things, man, to see anything. I 
Yeah. Wow, man. Nothing you can do about that. Let me see if I can get you a good picture of this. See up here, there's no footprint whatsoever left until you get right in there. And this whole area here is lower than this area. Quite a bit. Same there. Now, if you look really close, you can see, if I'll try to zoom in here and hold the camera still, you can see bare wood. If I go grinding on that with a buffer, it's just going to look worse and worse and worse. If I cut into the uh, black paint, then it's ruined. That's already bare wood showing there. I don't think that's glue. But you can see weirdness. Maybe you can even see how it lifts up right there. I could put the macro lens on. Let me do that. Alright, got the macro lens on, baby. I can really get in there now. That's probably where that pit guard had been loose a number of years. Because this whole area here was loose. That's where we first started at. That's why I started there, because it was loose. See this here? There you can clearly see how that ledge is higher than the surface of the guitar. See that? That's bare wood. Wow. But that's what it looks like. Yeah, right here, right here. You can see where the surface here is higher than the surface here is. You see what I'm talking about? And if I go, like I say, if I go grinding on that, man, we're gonna, it's just going to get uglier. Hold on. So I'm going to stop there. I think we're getting up around 20, 25, maybe even 30 minutes by now. It's getting long. I know I've been working on this a long time, getting that crap off. Sure, I like you got that, that new one on there, though. Damn, I've done lost it now. Here it is. I took some pictures of all this and how it lines up back here, and I'm going to send them to the owner and see what he wants me to do. If he wants me to take a buffing wheel to that thing, I'll do it. <laughs> I hate to. Uh, like I say, it's so thin. The finish is so thin right there, you know. That's where that pit card's been loose for so many years, and just uh, shit's got under there and piled up and built up, and it's just... It's ruined it, really. You're never going to get that off. And that's the way you could get it off, but you'd have to go into a lot of detail with sanding and maybe even repainting and refinishing the top of the guitar. I don't think he wants to put that much money into a pick guard, man. You can't see it that much, but you can see it. So I'm going to stop there. Next video, I'll show you how I put them on. I told you it was going to be. Sometimes they are a pain in the ass, man, to change. This one has been, and it's still been. Sometimes, you know, you just start them, peel them off, man, keep the heat on, they'll come right off. Other times, they'll come off, the glue sticks on the guitar, and uh, you can see how tacky that thing is. This is the old one. I mean, look, man, you touch it, and you ain't letting go of that puppy. <laughs> I can't even put it down, stick it to the bench. <laughs> I don't think you're going to save that, I don't know why you would. But uh, that's going to change the entire looks of this guitar, this new one here. It's going to look great, man. Even with this footprint in the back. What I can do. You remember how this old pickup. Was too far forward. Wasn't lined up with the sound hole. Well I can make this one too far backwards. And not have it in line with the sound hole. And it covers every bit of that up. You can't even see it man. I'll talk to you See what he wants to do. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Uh, tune in next time and see what we fight. <laughs> I figured three more videos on this guitar. What is it going to be four now? Counting this one. There will be three more after this video if you're watching. Something like that. Cheers. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. Uh, thanks to the new subs. I know there's a bunch of you guys. Welcome Woo! to the madhouse that never sleep. 
and uh, the Patreons and the old ones and new ones alike, uh, the five dollar and greater tier Patreons, everyone, man, that uh, tunes into this channel, thumbs up for, to you guys. Or you thumbs this video up too, if you want to. I'd appreciate that. But thumbs up to you guys. Thank you, and I'll see you on the next video.